Thank God. The day is over. You can finally close your stuff and then we can get the hell out of this... Um, well, hell. You still got emails to send? Is it really important that you send them now? Can't it wait till tomorrow? All right, you sent them. No more work. They are not paying you for your overtime. Now shut down your laptop. We are out of here. No buts. Do it. Good. If you hurry up, we might get home before the sun goes down. So... I've noticed that you've been working a lot lately. You've been taking more cases. Your caseload has never been that high. Being short-staffed isn't an excuse to burn yourself. Have you decided when to take your vacation? You've been long overdue for a time off. Even your boss thinks so. She's been asking you to take those vacations, has she not? She wants to make sure you're well. You are one of the top employees here. She doesn't want to lose you. I know you don't like when people treat you like a wounded puppy, but it's not pity. It's genuine care. Are you going out tonight? The guys invited you to the bar for some drinks, remember? You told them maybe, which, in your language, I know means no. If you keep this up, they'll stop inviting you. Maybe that's how you feel right now, but... You have to keep at least some social interactions in your life. I know you went through a traumatic event, but... Hey! Don't walk away from me! You can be really mean sometimes. Oh! <laughs> Look! The bus is coming! What about... we take it instead of walking? I guess it won't be today. It's alright. Walking is pretty healthy. Plus, you get to meet new people. Not that you like meeting new people anyway. But, like, it's crazy how the smallest and most random decisions we make in our lives can be the tipping point between meeting someone and never seeing them. Imagine all the people you wouldn't have met if you decided to call in sick one morning, or sat one desk over at one of your lectures. Do you remember how we met? It was at Kelly's party, if I remember correctly. You said that your friends forced you to come. You were not a huge party kind of guy. <laughs> and it showed. I saw you near the snacks, playing with your solo cup, not talking with anyone. I kind of felt bad for you at that time. So I approached you. And then we talked the whole night about Scorsese movies. <laughs> People must have been like, look at those two nerds in the corner. Not that I would care what they think. That night was the best night of my life. So many things could have happened to prevent us from meeting, yet we did. I wouldn't have met the love of my life. Are you stopping at that Chinese takeout again? Couldn't you go to the grocery store and cook something? 
that would be the healthier choice and much cheaper. You're too tired to cook? Well, takeout it is then. Remember when you used to make my favorite dish, mapo tofu? <laughs> I can't believe I managed to finally get you to try vegetarian food. It took a lot of work, but it was worth it in the end. I remember when you only ate instant noodles. <laughs> I can't believe you managed to live off that. Good thing I came in to save you. Come on. Admit it. Vegetarian food can be just as good as any other food. Mmm. <sighs> it smells amazing. But I still would have preferred you made yourself something. You are such a great cook, yet you haven't cooked in months. Do you remember when you tried teaching me how to make fried rice? I made such a mess that day. <laughs> you ended up making the recipe all over again. And helped me clean up the kitchen. You should go to one of those... Oh, what's the name? Those community kitchens. Those things where people come together and prepare meals for the week. I am certain they would be amazed by your skills. Babe, you could at least consider it. Would you do it for me? If I do my puppy eyes? Maybe? Yeah, I can take a maybe. It's better than nothing. Oh, your order is ready. Hey, look, another bus is passing. If you take it, you will get home much faster. And enjoy your meal while it's still hot. And the bus is gone. It's okay. No pressure. On the bright side, we can pass through our favorite park. I always love the trees during fall. The leaves turning gold, getting carried by a gentle breeze and then slowly falling on the ground. Such a peaceful scenery. It's like the last breath of life before a long slumber. A last dance before the curtain falls. It really makes you appreciate nature just before winter. Well, the little nature we have in this gray city. Hey, look, a dog! Oh, he's so cute! Can we pet him? Please? I'm sure the owner wouldn't mind if we pet her dog. Look, she's smiling at you. It's your chance to say hi. Come on. Please, 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 please. <sighs> a few months ago, you would never pass up the chance to pet a dog. I've known you for a while, and I can see in your eyes that you also wanted to pet the dog. The owner was kind of cute, don't you think? I know for a fact that she is your type. I have insider knowledge. <laughs> you could have used the opportunity to talk to her. <laughs> but you like it when I tease you. <laughs> you didn't approach her because you didn't want to make me jealous. Yes. I admit, when a girl talks to you, there is a little pinch in my heart. But it's not a reason to avoid all the women in the world. You have to put yourself first now. You can't make decisions based on how I would feel. Sometimes.
sometimes I feel like I'm talking through you. But I know you still listen in your own way. Ah, <sighs> thank God. Finally home. You must be tired and hungry. Go enjoy your food, babe. Is it good? It must be cold by now. Wish I could try some. You still put an extra plate for me, even though I cannot eat. I know it's a habit, and it's very sweet. But I just think it's a very hurtful habit to keep. I know people have their own ways of healing, but you don't seem to be healing. I feel like you were stuck in the past. <sighs> My favorite mug. You still have it around. Who knows how many hot chocolates I've drunk from it. <laughs> so many movie nights. So many times we just watch the rain from the back porch. Do you remember when I got this mug? Yes. You gave it to me on our six-month anniversary. We couldn't go to Hawaii because of our budgets and our work schedules and the pandemic and so many things were happening at the same time. You bought me that mug and told me that we will go to Hawaii at some point, when we would be more financially stable. In the end, we never went. But it's all in the past now. You know that. I want you to make new memories with someone else. I want you to make another girl feel special, the same way you made me feel special. I want you to watch movies with her like we used to. I want you to share this apartment with her, turn this place into a proper home, do everything you wanted to do with me. You still love me? I know, I know, but I can't love you anymore. I can't give you the love that you deserve. You know that. Of course you deserve to be loved. Are you crazy? You deserve it more than most. You beat yourself too hard for way too long. For something that <laughs> you didn't have any control over. You were not the one driving the truck. You were not the one who ran the red light. I chose to go out that day. I chose to get on that bus. I made the choice to bring you dinner at your office. I wanted to support you because you were working overtime to save up for our vacations. But you have to stop putting the guilt on yourself. You have to stop beating yourself over this. You have no responsibility over that accident. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> it wasn't your fault. You must live your life. I'm the one who died. But... 
that day, you also stopped living. Don't let it be the end for you. Don't waste your life by living in the past. Please. <laughs> Please live your life, babe. <laughs> live it for me.